Okay, so R.I.P. James Lipton. That's first and foremost. Um, James Lipton is the creator of Inside the Actor Studio. He passed away on, I believe, March 2nd uh, from cancer. Um, James Lipton impacted my life greatly, greatly. He was the first interviewer that I ever got captivated by. He has, I remember he had a conversation with Samuel Jackson. And Samuel Jackson talked about uh, being addicted to drugs. He talked about like a lot of stuff. And every actor that he interviewed talked about not just, you know, what they've done. Because inside the actor studio is a lecture. They would talk about their shortcomings. Um, and for me, that was a really big thing because... At the time, when I first discovered Inside the Actor Studio, I was working in a grocery store. I was working at No Frills. And I hated it. Oh, I'm wearing yellow. How about that? And I hated it. I hated working in No Frills. Like, there would be, like, a lot of nights where I'd be, like, stocking shelves and I'd be, like, crying. Like, at the same time. Because I just felt like I should be doing more. Doing something else. And when I discovered those interviews, it made the days go by quicker. And I felt like I came away with something from every interview. So work became essentially school. And I wasn't trying to learn to be an actor or anything like that. But it was just amazing to see or to hear that these people who we look up to, that people idolize and think of as icons all had these same type of shitty lives before they found the thing that made them who they are. The thing that they really love to do. It gave me a lot of hope. It made my life seem not so bad. And uh, it made me want to become an interviewer. He was the first person that made interviewing seem so cool to me. And then I went home, because I didn't know who he was when I first heard of him. I went home and I googled inside the actor studio and I learned who James Lipton was. And, and uh, I then listened to every single inside the actor studio episode that I could get my hands on. Made a big playlist, at least 80 interviews. This is back when YouTube had everything. This is before they started shutting shit down as soon as it came out. So there was everything. Johnny Depp, Tom Cruise, Samuel Jackson, Jim Carrey, Robin Williams. Like, it was everybody. It was crazy. And, uh, yeah. That. <laughs> and then when I first started doing. When I first started thinking about doing interviews, because when I worked at the grocery store, I didn't even know how to even begin that process. But I told myself I was going to be an interviewer. I was like, that's the thing I want to do. It just encompassed everything that I like. I like, I like talking with people. I like connecting with people. And I like learning from people. And I like, I just, I like all of that. I like everything that you have to do in an interview. I love it. And I love the fact that it can help somebody. Um, so yeah, I'm just rambling. But James Lipton, thank you so much for helping me get through those nights because I don't know what I would have done otherwise without you and those interviews. Thank you for making me see that no matter how shitty my life was, um, that it could be something more. And thank you for essentially teaching me because every, every, inter every interview he does is a lecture at the same time. It's like a master class for actors. So just thank you. Thank you for what I am today, an interviewer. Like, be, beyond a comedian, beyond a videographer, a video editor, a podcaster, I'm an interviewer. And that's because of you. So thank you for showing me that my life can be more 
than what it was. Thank you for making me more than I was. Rest in peace. That's it. Short video. Peace.